All right, so it's a rainy day. I need to go and cut my hair, actually, because, yeah, I'm just tired, actually. I was reading something that someone posted. I posted something on Facebook and somebody was replying back. I've been trying to post some pretty lighthearted things on Facebook because there's so much crazy crap that's going on um, that is insane. And you've seen a lot of it on, in the news lately and Asian folks being attacked for stupid ignorant reasons and so you know it's just sad it's sad that we still have to have conversations that involve stuff like this and that's the reason why I do the videos that I do when someone asks why does America always or Americans care so much about race and the reason why I do videos that talk about different racial situations or I have people who mainly are in it in interracial relationships, they'll write into me because, as I said before, oftentimes if you're a black man, it's like you don't have a friend in the world. And to have positivity is something that's very important. But then also when you have spouses or women who are with Black dudes are in any interracial uh, relationship. I have people who are white dudes who are with black women or Asian women or whatever, whatever. This is a channel where I want people to feel accepted and welcomed. And so will there be topics at times that people will be a little bit kind of like, Ew. sure, because it's not an easy topic to have. It's not an... You know, there are some people who have a great platform who are much bigger than I am and they refuse to talk about race because they're afraid of turning people off. And that's unfortunate because they are a part of the community that is needed to be heard from. And you have many YouTubers who don't want to do those types of topics because they feel like it will, it will make someone mad or it will make folks upset with them and that you know they're not going to want to listen. I never put profit over what's right. And so for me, it's not, this is not my, if I relied on YouTube to be my income, it would just be a bad day. I mean, grocery stores would just basically look at me and be like, don't even come in. You just don't. So it's not about that for me. You know, for me, this is this is a info channel, if you will, right? This is this is kind of like if there's something that I know a little bit about, I don't mind sharing it or give my opinion. Doesn't mean my opinion is going to be right. Sometimes the information I give you may be outdated or, you know, maybe regurgitated or whatever. But the point is, is that somewhere someone hasn't heard the information and maybe find it interesting or important. And the big part of it is, is definitely trying to be a, a positive space because there's so much negative. There's so much negative. And so I try my best to make sure that this is a channel that is not just around the wheels of the, 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 the negative stuff that you see every single day. And that I want people to understand that not everybody is going to agree. But on the same token, I don't want everybody to be painted with the same brush. I have a big issue with that. I don't think that all white people are racist or a problem. I don't think that all black people are or all Asian people or Hispanic people. I don't think that. I think the vast majority of people are trying to make their ends kind of get a little close to touching, to make their ends meet. That's what most people are. Are some people not as engaged as they should be? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think that some folks are so bogged down in what's going on in their own life 
that they don't have enough bandwidth to deal with anything else. Now, that doesn't make it right necessarily, but, you know, I mean, sometimes people have a lot on their plate. They may feel horrible about things that are going on, but they have a lot on their plate. And I see people, you know, on Facebook, I have a lot of folks who are, are who are Asian, some who live in America, some who don't. And there's a lot of people who are extremely upset and angry and should be. And some of them are upset with just the way that the media and the sheriff and other folks just kind of the callous nonchalantness. And they're upset about that and rightfully so. But it doesn't shock me that you get a lot of this nonchalant like, oh, you know, you're having a bad day. And because unfortunately that's just kind of the way that we have become as a society in America. It used to be where people were so worried. I remember as a kid running, you know, we where we lived in Bowling Green, across the street was this old cemetery, still there obviously. Old cemetery, like old. The tombstones are so old you can't really read some of them. Long been they stopped burying people there a long time ago, way before I even came along. And right before you got there, the city had this open sewer system because there used to be a street called Sewer Street. And the Sewer Street and this particular thing kind of run together. Well, they never, it was a huge opening, like a huge, instead of having a sidewalk, it was like maybe three or four feet wide and just a hole. It was just where the drain went and it went for a whole block right in front of our house. Now, they've since capped that and put a sidewalk in. But when I was like five years old, so we're talking 36 years ago, it was wide open. So if you were not paying attention and you walked across the street from my house and walked to try to get on what you thought was the sidewalk, you'd fall straight down. So my cat had a had some kittens and was running across the street and I was worried that she was going to fall and hurt herself or fall and kill the kittens. And so she was protecting them. So I ran across the street because my sister ran across the street. My sister knew how to watch for cars. There was a car coming. And back in them days, cars were the size of houses. Big old huge car. Just it was so big, it was just bouncing going down the road. My sister ran behind the car. I ran in front of the car. And I was, you know, not super tall. I was like four years old. So all I saw was bright lights and a woman slamming on the brakes. And her jumping up in the seat to see, you know, if I was okay. She was probably in her early 20s. The lady now is in her 60s. She's still alive. Early 20s. And she's sitting there beating on her chest because she thought that she had hit me. And I just didn't skip a beat. I just ran over. I ran around, made sure that I didn't fall into the ditch. And I was looking to see if I, my cat was there. Well, the poor lady drove off. And man, my mama tore into me. Right. But I tell that story because the lady was so hysterical that she thought that I had gotten that she hit me, that she killed me. And I remember the neighborhood, everybody coming out because the screeching of the tires. And people always thought, oh, no, one of the kids. And so everybody came out. The neighborhood came out and it was a big it was a big deal. People cared. It doesn't seem like that's the case anymore. It doesn't seem like people really care like they used to. Like we just kind of turn a blind eye when someone loses their life over stupidity and hatred and everything else. It's just sad. It's sad. And it's unfortunate that we have to be in, a, in an environment like that. And you have some people that's explaining away things. And it's like, it's not the time to explain away things. It's just sad. 
And this is why I tell people I limit who I hang out with. You see on Facebook, this woman who's who's uh, Blasian, but she's got a white boyfriend. Two of the white guy friends on her page are just sitting there ex explaining the situation as to what happened in, in Atlanta and really being very rude and just nasty. And she's sitting there apologizing to them because they said that they felt like she was being racist. And I sat there and scratched my head and I said, this is insane. Like, I don't get involved in the other people's stuff. Sometimes I just go on there and I'm just looking. But I'm like, this person must have some pretty bad self-esteem if she's literally allowing these two guys to basically dog her out. And then because she was sitting here talking about that she saw it differently and that she felt like it was some something that was a bit racist in terms of what happened in Atlanta, the guys then the one guy called her a racist and said that you're being racist towards me as a white guy and she was apologizing to them. It just it it, it blows my mind. And that's the reason why I say that I'm very very careful with who I have as a friend. Not only why I not have those two guys as a friend, I wouldn't have her as a friend either <laughs> in real life. I just completely disagree with that type of thing. And so there, there's a reason why. Now, some people will say, oh, it's cancel culture. Call it what you want. But for me, out of self-preservation, which is what I call it, I limit who I'm around. I limit who I spend time with. I limit who I, I, I just limit things. I just do. And I also am very careful with who I have conversations with and about just because of the simple fact that I don't trust a lot of people. And I just, you know, there's just certain things I limit. I just limit. I've learned the hard way oftentimes that you can't always share everything that's on your mind. You just can't. I hope that people can understand that some of the videos that I do that talk about different race related type things sometimes not all the time it mostly is about Tacoma and other things but we have a channel that's kind of all over the place right some people like that some people don't but the reason why we do I do those types of videos is because I want people to know that they're not alone that you're not you know like the culinary to carrier I did that video because I didn't want people or I have that channel or that sub channel because I want people to understand they're not alone. It's not, you're not the only person. And so sometimes I do the same thing when it comes to other types of videos that, hey, you're not alone. There's other people who are going through something similar or they can probably relate to certain things. I try to create my own communities if I can because a lot of times people find connections and they find what they need in those types of communities. So they may not can find it outside of that, unfortunately. They can find it inside of that. And it's not necessarily having an echo chamber of people who agree with you. It's people who can respect you as a person. And that's the thing that is important to me. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Join the Discord, which is going to be down in the description box below. Until next time, I will see you. Take care.